Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you, Mr. Raheem? I'm doing great. I'm in your presence. I gotta be doing good. I see your baby brother hanging out with you. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah, I hope you're doing him like I do you. <laughs> Listen, we haven't been around each other for a while now, so we're just going to talk about a few things, go over a few things, and just a, a matter of fact, while we're here, tell the people your full name and everything. All right, then. Well, my name is Jamar Allen Piper, Jr. I am now currently 15 years old. My birthday is July 14th, 2006. And how did you celebrate your birthday? Well, recently we went on a trip to Puerto Rico, which is around 1,600 miles away from here. We stayed there for like five days, and we had a good time. I, I, I know you did, because you know how many kids in America can afford to go to, go to, I mean, just leave the state for their birthday, let them all go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> you must have did something good to, to deserve that. Yeah, you could say that, but I was just happy to go on the trip with my family and my baby brother. Right. And, and you know, what's your baby brother name? No, well, my baby brother's name is Josiah Dwayne Piper. He is now one and a half years old, turning two this October. He was born October 11th, 2019. Yeah, because right after he was born, that, that very next year in February, we ran into the, the pandemic. And that's the well, last, that's the well, last, huh? It was early March, but yeah, yeah, yeah February is more yes, when it actually got, we uh, started. Broke, right. But right after that was the last time we really ever spent any time with each other in church and everything. But that was, but why, why, everybody's why? Uh, safe and everything. That's the why, thing why? that matters. Hey, you know what? <clears throat> Uh, are you still on the path to becoming a doctor? Yes, I still currently am. I'm moving into the 10th grade as of now. Oh. My school starts late August in here, in PA. And for all y'all who don't know this, he's also, not only do he want to become a doctor, he is a math elite. I, I went to his graduate when he got awarded for all the math he did and everything. So he's great at that too. He's a good kid. <laughs> Uh, I'll never forget when we first met, we, we took him on a fishing uh, thing, and he uh, came out with flip-flops on. I've never seen that before in my life, but since then, he's grown and become a great young man. Love being around him. Do uh, you want to talk about some of the things we've done together? Well, sure. Well, firstly, we have gone to the car rentals to look at some cool cars. We have going on this little trip in a car where we saw some of the clowns. We uh, we uh, went we went to restaurants before, but the, like like that one place where we, they had a like free breakfast for a while. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about yeah yeah they they served us with that uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember who sponsored that. We got it through Big Brothers and Big Sisters, but somebody actually sponsored that. I forget who it was now. Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, remember the football games we went to? Yeah, that was years ago. Yeah, I, hey. We, uh, car like, derby, that, that, that car dirt, 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 oh derby, whatever it was called. Yeah, the car I, derby, that was cool. Johnny uh, Richardson got us tickets to that. We had the uh, the almost what you call the, 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 the penthouse seats for that and everything. That was good. Yeah, uh, we went to basketball games. Yeah. Uh. Oh. The fact they, they had the car show in Trenton where we was at uh, last week. They had it down there. Oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, there's some things coming up with big brothers and big sisters we want to get into. But, you know, uh, the, the, the one good thing about us meeting was when we first met, we really didn't know each other. But we met at Parker School because we had decided that we was going to go in partnership with Parker School to mentor some young people there. And you and your uh, cousin happened to be two of the young men that came in, end up being my young men. So, uh, you know, that was a blessing in disguise that I didn't even know was gonna happen like that. Yes, yes it is. 
Uh, by the way, my cousin is currently 11 years old now. His birthday is December 23rd, 2009. And what's his full name, uh? Londell, I know the first name. Ezekiel Mitchison Jr. Right. And, and, and normally we all three of us, all two of us be together. <laughs> I remember your sister, we had to take her one time because she got, no, she, she, she felt she, left out. She, I don't have any sisters currently, but. I mean, Lydell's sister. I do have a girly cousin who we, who we talked about or like a few years back, we, who were trying to get into Big Brothers and Sisters program. Right. Shalise, uh, Shalise Mitchison, she's currently 13 now. Her birthday is May 4th, 2008. Oh. Everybody's growing up. I could even see how you feeling out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think she should. Well, how's school coming along? Well, school's going good. I did have a good time in ninth grade. I learned a lot, of, I learned a lot about chemistry, some algebra. Uh, English was basically the same as any other year. Didn't really learn anything new from that. Right. Well, uh, chemistry and algebra is new to me. Uh, honors geometry. Honors cool. you learn about Turn your face back towards the camera. They can't see your face. It is inside. That is. Well, look, like he's he's losing interest because he's not getting all the attention. Most kids do that. <laughs> but honors geometry was very cool. We learned, we learned how to find uh, an area of sides and shapes with uh, different things. Like like we learned the radius of the hexagon and and other pentagons and uh, uh, polygons and stuff. And are you going to find that useful with being a doctor or no? Probably, probably not because doctors usually have to deal with stuff like measurements, milliliters, liquids. You, you know, like, like uh, how you say, is it the metric system? Yes. Yes, the metric system. We... Doctors m most likely use the metric system instead of the other one to learn about liters, millimeters, and quartz. Well, it sounds like you're interested in all that, but then again, I knew you was because I remember we uh, we was we was going to do something together, but uh, they had a special class that day for all the ones who wanted to be doctors, and you had already signed up for it. And went to it. I forget. Do you remember where that was at? Where they had that class at? No, but I do remember it itself. I do remember going there and learning about the, uh, the, the this is what it takes to be a doctor. I do remember going there. Yes. Because we were supposed to did something with Big Brother and Big Sister that day, but that changed me. That, and to me, that was more important that you went there because that's, that's your dream. That's what you want to do. And nothing should get in between you and your dream. So... You know, and I just wanted to spend some time with you. Uh, as I told you, I recorded this, so I'm going to put this on uh, YouTube and send it to Big Brother and Big Sisters. Because I talked to uh, Tara the other day, and she's going on vacation for two weeks. So when she comes back, we going to all get together and see how we can um, make plans, do some things, get back to doing things because the company, the country is opening back up again, and you just got back. So... Uh, maybe we can go get breakfast or something one day. Uh, but then again, you way over there in PA, so it ain't like I used to be able to drive by the house and pick you up. We, <laughs> we just go. Yeah. So, but we'll yeah. we'll see how we can make it. Work. Yeah, now it's a two-hour drive to Trenton and New York. Yeah. Well, one thing about it, we'll have to we'll we'll have to do something where it's an all-day thing, and and can just get back. All right. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the public and the people before we leave? Well, yeah. Uh, I hope you all have an interesting day. I hope you all stay safe because of the coronavirus. It's affecting a lot of people now, and I wouldn't want that to happen to all of you watching. So stay safe. Remember to stay six feet away from people and wash your hands on the regular, if not more than usual, 20 seconds. And wash thoroughly once, twice a day. 
is best. And I just hope you all have a fantastic day and stay safe. You know, you sound like a doctor. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Listen, uh, we're going to uh, close out now. But, you know, this is this is I am very proud of this young man. You know, he's he's done a lot. He's come a long way. I watched him grow up. Matter of fact, we as a church has watched him grow up. And, it, and, and it's amazing how he has grown and has and the things he has accomplished in his life. Uh, we're going to produce this, put it out there, and so everybody can see it and see that big brothers and big sisters do work. And like I said, we're in mentorship uh, at my church to, to grow the young people, and we're in partnership with different uh, schools to help them through the process also. So uh, if you like this video, feel free to like it, subscribe to it, uh, to help the channel grow. To uh, if, And... Uh, also, uh, if any comments, feel free to leave them. And with that being said, we're going to say God bless you, God keep you, God watch over you. Have a great time. Talk to you later. Bye. Talk to you.